second off this what I eat in a day video on the Mediterranean diet with my morning coffee. So I have decaf coffee here and I haven't mixed it in yet, but I do a scoop of this super youth collagen powder. Gosh, hopefully I don't spill my coffee. And then I use this almond milk vanilla creamer and I've been drinking decaf. So I have the Dunkin' Donuts decaf that I used for my Keurig machine. Presley can say bye now. I love you. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> bye, I love you. You're gonna need decaf. Yeah, have fun there, okay? Gigi's gonna be happy. Gigi is gonna be happy to see you. She loves you so much. <laughs> Got your shoes on? I love you. Love you. Have a great day. Remember, what do you have to tell Gigi that you like today? Bye. I'm not changing out of my pajamas until after I do my workout, but I was gonna share with you guys, it's kind of something I've been doing since my dad. Um, I put on one of the YouTube videos of the Walt Disney World fireworks, and for some reason it just kicks off my day like feeling really happy and like thinking of him in just like a really positive way because he always filmed like the entire firework show every time we're at Disney. So it kind of just like gets me hyped up for the day and thinking of like really good times that we have together. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. Up. I can't really say doing my hair. I've been trying really hard to not put any heat on my hair and I'm gonna try really hard not to fall down the stairs right now. Um, but that's why it's just like up in a bun today. But since I did online therapy first thing this morning, that's why the kids went to Gigi so that I could do that and talk and just get a lot of the feelings I've had out since after my dad, since that's just been such a transition for all of us but I feel like it was really helpful. Like she gave me such good strategies today. So I'll link in my description box because I do it online and you can do it over the phone. You can video chat. You can even just like chat message your therapist. And it's just truly like helped me through what's been the hardest time of my life. But I'm starving. If you didn't hear, I think my stomach literally just grumbled. So I'm gonna make my breakfast. Cranberry, it's like a cranberry almond protein oatmeal, and I used vanilla almond milk and topped it with raspberries and blackberries. So it's so good, it's so yummy.
while I sit here stuffing my face with my breakfast, I hopefully don't have anything on my teeth, do I? <laughs> Come on, like you're a YouTuber, you know this drill. Um, I would love to have you subscribe, join my channel. We have some really fun, exciting things coming up and actually that's what I'm doing here on my computer, I'll show you. I'm doing some vacation planning, just like our itinerary and outfit planning, all of that to try to be as hyper organized as I can be for our upcoming trips because I'm trying to figure out how to do like two weeks in two suitcases for a family of four. So I'm trying to be very strategic. If you have any tips, let me know. Okay, clearly scarf that down. I was starving. Um, but this is my like outfit planning document then where I'll have the itinerary, what the weather is expected to be. Um, if you've ever seen me actually pack in my other videos, I end up like getting post-its and sort of packing everything that way. But this is sort of how I'll lay out what our outfits should be for that day, just so that I know exactly what I might need to pack. These were a couple options, like I ordered some online, I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna go with, and I'll just kinda make that decision when the dresses actually get here. But <laughs> that's sort of, I guess, the method to my madness then of as I get close to vacation, this is normally what I do, so I can kind of see everything. I'm like a very visual person, so it helps me a lot to sort of see everything from the outfit to the shoes, and that way I can kind of know what undergarments I might need to pack for some stuff. And then for Disney, this is sort of how I plan it, where I'll sort of know, okay, this is where we're gonna be staying, and then what kind of different things are at the park that day, what the fast pass rides we'd like to do, what dining there might be, and then I sort of am figuring out, okay, based on what we're gonna do that day, what's some of the potential outfit things. But these are like very early planning stages because we're not going until next year.
to do my Mediterranean chicken crock pot recipe now that's what we're going to have today I was deciding like maybe I'll do burgers instead but I feel like this is just such a good crock pot recipe that I want to share it in this video I've shared it before and these are all of the ingredients that you need so you need Italian seasoning dressing you need a lemon half of a red onion chopped garlic I always just buy one of these huge things of it though because I use chopped garlic in pretty much every recipe that I make um, you need roasted red peppers about half a jar you need about half a jar of Kalamata olives as well and then you'll need two tablespoons of capers and you'll need some boneless chicken breast and I think this is about two pounds worth but you can use anywhere from like a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breast and then it's all cooked in your crock pot and I'm just using one of these crock pot liners did I leave the box out here I got the box it was actually Tiffany who turned me on to these because they just make cleaning it up so much easier and people always ask if these are safe because obviously like you're cooking something on pretty high heat in plastic but they are BPA free and if you want the full recipe to this on my blog, it's bitsofbreeblog.com. Just go to the Mediterranean diet meal plan recipes post. And this one is actually right on there for the Mediterranean chicken with the ingredients and directions for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop up this red onion first. I'll try not to cry. I didn't light a candle today. This can be like a very rough chopped onion here. And I'm just gonna add that to the craft pot. And then I'm gonna take my chopped garlic and I'm gonna add two tablespoons. And again, I kind of like roughly measure anything. I'm never like super precise. So they're pretty heaping. I like a lot of garlic. And I think so does Adam when I cook. He never seems to mind. Okay, I'm gonna add in the chicken breast then on top of the chopped onions and garlic. Now on top of that, I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of capers. And if you've never had capers, they're very, very salty, so they just add a really nice, like salty, briny flavor to this. And then I'm gonna add in this jar. These are like already chopped roasted red peppers, so if you happen to get a jar where they're like more whole, you might wanna slice them into strips, but these are already pretty much strips just add right on top and then my kalamata olives again about half this is a what kind of ounces jar this is a 5.75 ounce jar so probably like three ounces so if you find like anywhere from like a five to six ounce jar of olives it's about half the jar then um, and these are also very salty as well so I love the flavor of olives. Add to anything, it's always like a must to have on my pizza too. I love black olives, so do my kids. Adam doesn't like them very much, but in this dish, if you do have someone else in your house, like Adam, who doesn't like olives, I mean, they're so big, you don't have to kind of like put them on the plate then when you serve it. So it still adds a nice salty taste, but isn't something that the person like has to eat when it's like mixed into tomato sauce or something like that, because Adam always hates if I add black olives or mushrooms to like a sauce he doesn't like them but this dish it doesn't mind because it just kind of flavors it while it's cooking um, now I'm just gonna squeeze 
a lemon over the top of this. You wanna do both halves of the lemon. This is actually like a super ripe, le ripe lemon. I love this time of year because I feel like the citrus fruits are just so good right now, at least where we live. All right, full thing is on there. So now last thing I'm gonna do is just sprinkle then this Italian dressing dry mix over the top. And it really then helps just flavor the chicken and this dish. So I'm gonna cover it and I'm cooking it on the high four hour setting because that's about the time I have until dinner, but it's also lunch time. So I need to go make my lunch. <laughs> All right, here is the before. I'll show you the after in about four hours, but I did just wanna show you before I plug this in and set it up here. When we got our new countertops, if you are interested in getting quartz, um, you can see like the before and after kitchen makeover, we got new backsplash too, but the countertop counter stop countertop installation guy said to me make sure you set anything down if you're going to use a crock pot on these because they said there has been some like reports of the heat of the crock pot can like damage or discolor the countertops so i'm making sure i do that i'm moving forward whenever i use this Okay, so here is my lunch. I made this organic black bean soup from Progresso. It has like 14 grams of protein in it. And then these are the Red Hot Blues tortilla chips. Cause so I like to dip those in there by Garden of Eden. So clever, love that pun. Um, and I just sprinkled some pepper jack shredded cheese on the top of my soup. The stuff in the crock pot has been cooking. I've got the kid stuff plated. Adam asked for broccoli with his too, but I wanted to do a spinach salad with mine, and this is one of my favorite salads. Sometimes I actually just do this for like my whole dinner, but I'll do spinach, and then I use these walnut pieces and raspberry walnut vinaigrette and feta cheese. You could just use oil and vinegar on this too with like salt and pepper and taste great, but I really like how the raspberry flavor is on this salad. Just kidding, Adam saw how good my salad looks, so he said he wanted one too, so. We're both having these with our chicken tonight. And this is what the, sorry I'm making a shadow, um, but this is what the final crock pot Mediterranean chicken looks like. Okay, press you back to your seat. Yes, I know. I said it there. Made for Harry Potter. Hey, what? Oh, yeah. I'm Can you say the prayer for us, Presley? Look it. No, I want to. God is very gospel. Yes, I can go to Amen. Amen. Do you want to say it too? Yeah. Say it. I don't want to go to Amen. Very good. Now I'm going to go to no, because you're not going to bed. Mommy, how was your day? It was good. How was your day? What? I had a lot of work to do. I was working on stuff to get, to get, to get a lot of money at TV's house to get a bunch of jewelry for Presley. Because you want to get jewelry for mm -hmm. Presley? See what a nice brother he is? He wants to fill up your jewelry box. She has this like bell jewelry box in her room that doesn't have any jewelry in it. So I was like, maybe you could get her that for Christmas or her birthday. Yeah, he was talking about it this morning. Yeah. And for some reason he thinks that when he writes, that's how you make money. I think he's writing a letter to Santa. So he thinks that Santa's gonna bring him money. Is that what you think? Well, well how does it work that you write? How do you get money from writing? The dollar store. 
Well, I worked my tail off today. I still actually have to do some work now though that the kids are in bed and asleep. And I'm gonna have my glass of Apothic Red that is my favorite red wine to drink. Still not sponsored. And this is what I'm gonna have as my little dessert treat. These Brookside dark chocolate acai blueberry flavor. But I hope that you enjoyed this what I eat in a day video of everything that I eat following the Mediterranean diet. I have some more of those videos if you wanna see like the grocery haul or the meal planning and recipe ideas for the Mediterranean diet because it's really more like a lifestyle. I feel like I say that all the time, but just in case you're new and I would love to have you subscribe and join my channel if you are. But thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.